Hey, good morning, campers. So, today I've made a decision. I'm going to paint these uh, side panels here I put on to cover the windows. I'm going to paint them white. I think that's probably going to be the best color for them. And uh, I'll show you what else I'm going to do here. I have located some aluminum rivets here. I'm going to add some more rivets to them. And I found my pneumatic huck riveter. This runs on air power. And I'm sure glad to see this thing. I thought I lost it. But anyway, what I'm going to do is um, these screws that I put in here, I'm going to go ahead and pull those out and I'm going to replace them all, all these screws with rivets. And I'm going to fill in that area in between and make sure it's hooked down really well. And uh, I'm playing around with a new selfie stick. My son gave it to me. And uh, wouldn't work on his phone because he, he had a uh, different type of plug-in for it and didn't realize it. So I got his old phone, so I got his old selfie stick too. So this might make it a little easier to, to be able to get up and see upper areas and goof around with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started here and we're going to um, go ahead and get these rivets in. Okay guys, I drilled out uh, the holes a little bit larger and I put rivets in it. Added a few more. Added some up top too. So that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and um, do this back window next. and. Uh, I've already got the screws out of it. I already pulled the screws out. All there is is the uh, the holes where the screws were. And I'm going to drill one in between each one of these and go ahead and uh, get some more rivets put in there. I'll show you guys why I'm putting rivets in instead of the screws. You see this right here? This gray stuff? That's oxidation. Since I put steel screws and this is aluminum, uh, they react to each other, the steel and the aluminum, and it causes oxidation. So I'm going to have to make sure I sand that off a little bit there before I put the next rivet back on, get it clean. Um, it, that's about the only one. The rest of them are still clean, but eventually this would have turned into a great big old bubbly area underneath my paint here. And uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that when I was putting the screws in, mostly because I was just trying to get these panels on by myself and I was just throwing screws in to hold it. And uh, then back in my mind I said, well that's good enough, but it wasn't. And uh, one of the subscribers here you know drew my attention to this so I should have known better but uh that's just the way it is so I'm fixing it now and there won't be a problem down the road okay guys this is the last one for the back here and I got the oxidation off I sanded that off with 180 grit uh, automotive sandpaper and um, just for the people that haven't seen me do this before I'm just going to do a really recap quick recap on this this is a rivet. What happens is this shaft that I'm holding on to gets pulled through the rivet and the back of that rivet, where the little ball is on the back, will mushroom, which will force the head of the rivet up against this metal right here. And 
this piece comes out, it pops loose and comes out, and it leaves the rivet behind and uh, holds the panel together. And uh, you just put it in like that. You can get these riveters. You don't have to use a big riveter like this one. You get a small handheld riveter from any hardware store. Okay, see the, the uh, shaft popped off and it's in the end of the riveter here, see? It's right here. It's right there. Okay. Okay, campers, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to sand this panel down with some 320 grit paper. And I'm going to make sure I get around these rivets really good. So you get the idea. You don't need to, to watch me do this whole thing, so I'll get back with you. Okay guys, I got it all sanded. And that one's all sanded also. So the next thing I'm going to do is so, um, go ahead and get some primer put on these. I'm going to have to tape it up and prime it. But I'm going to have to um, turn this around. Get it out of the sun. We can't have it in the sun. And I was looking around the store and I found this uh, e-coat which is basically the, it's direct to metal and it's the, the e-coat that you usually get on your car. Uh, like under your hood, you can see uh, it's kind of a green color. And this is really good for direct to metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this since I already have it. I would actually prefer a etching primer first, but uh, this stuff here says direct to metal right here. So it should be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around and get it taped up. Hey guys, we might as well go ahead and get these while we're at it, huh? I think so. I'll go ahead and tape these up and we'll uh, get these sprayed. I've got them sanded and I took the stainless steel cap off up there and we'll have to put that back on and reseal it. And uh, all the screws I had holding on the, uh, the inner panel in here that holds this ring in, I had screws in it. I took those out and I put uh, rivets in it instead. I got a couple little holes here that are left over that I'm going to have to put a little sealer in there or something. But uh, I'm not going to let that hold me up. I'm, I'm not going to let, wait for that to dry. I'll put that in after the fact. Okay, so we're well on our way here. I got the bus turned around too. So uh, here we go. Well, I'm progressing right along here. I've got it uh, taped up here and uh, just about ready to go. Hi, Rubes. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Kitty. Yeah, buddy. Nice sunny day. You should be happy. You're all warm. You've been laying in the sun. Okay, back at it. Okay, guys, I've got it all taped up. And I've got the uh, thing all wiped down. This is the importance of wiping it down. That's the, fir the first rag right here. And this is my final wipe. There's a lot of junk on that panel, and uh, mostly I think it's uh, aluminum residue, but um, I'm shaking up the paint right now, the e-coat, and um, when you wipe these off, always use like a t-shirt material, something that's lint-free. Use like a towel or something, then the little uh, threads get tied around, and then lint gets in it, and 
Yeah, it can, it can turn into a mess. Okay, let's see if this stuff sprays very good. I'm outside, I don't have a respirator on, but I just suggest wearing a respirator at all times. The reason I don't put a respirator on is um, I use a CPAP machine at night, and anymore, if I don't have like a fresh air pump rest type respirator, it, it seems claustrophobic to me, so I don't put them on. If you ever wonder why I'm not wearing one. Everybody has a little phobia about something. Something I developed as I got older. It's not something, that, it's not something I've always had. Boy, that went on nice and smooth. I think that's all we're going to need on there. We'll let that cure up and uh, we'll go over this with our, our white paint. Um, I'll pack you around to the other side. Yeah, I got this side all ready to go too. Got it all taped up. Got both windows taped up, see? Got the whole side of the bus covered. Kind of in a hurry because the, uh, the afternoon wind's going to be kicking up here pretty soon. And when that happens, uh, also the afternoon sun's going to come around. The sun might be even more problematic. You shouldn't spray paint in the sunshine. It, uh, it'll get a really dry edge on it because the panel gets hot. Too worried about coverage here. I just want to get. Um, I just want to get the this data here to the aluminum, so the paint will stick good. I'm having a little problem with part of it blowing away right now. See how it's striping a little? That's because part of my spray pattern is being blown away. You know, I flip-flopped on this, uh, whether to paint, paint out the sides black or paint them white. And uh, one of the reasons I decided to do this white is uh, the color matched so good. When, when I did the back part, it just matched perfectly. So, and uh, in the heat factor, I know that some people don't think the heat's a, a problem, but I think it is. I think it'll, it makes a considerable difference. They studied it, said there's only like a... 7% difference in the, from a different color. I have a hard time believing that. You ever sat on the seat in the summertime in a black leather seat in a, in a convertible or something? 
Yeah, you go to the doctor, you'll get a blister on the back of your leg from that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go down here and paint the other uh, the other one. And uh, you guys don't need to watch me do that. You've seen this one, the other side. Um, I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to put on the uh, put on the uh, the base color. It's actually a single stage color, so there's no clear. It just sprays out of the can, shiny. It's the way it is. And this is a YZ. It's dupli color, perfect match. And uh, I got this at uh, Craigan. I mean O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's. I'm sorry. O'Reilly's Auto Parts. They have it on the shelf in there. I may have to take it inside to do the other two sides because there's a little bit of wind over there. Get the edges too. I'm not spraying for coverage here. I'm just getting a nice, even, light coat on there. Okay. We'll let that set up for a little while, and we'll give it a third and a fourth coat. <laughs> hey campers, one can of coat. Yeah, I got two coats on there, two cans. Yeah, this is getting expensive. Twelve bucks a can. Man. It goes on there smooth. I gotta position myself so I can see the wet edge. So I can see how big my lap is, how smooth I'm putting it on. Doesn't show up too well outside. This can is just about done. This was always my favorite part. Always, my favorite part of painting was untaping.
Well, there it is. Time I polish this up, it's going to look pretty good. Um, I got new uh, paint showing up tomorrow. I, I special ordered some. A couple more big cans this time. And uh, so, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow for the uh, next one. So, I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, guys. Here it is all dried off. And uh, I put the vent back into it. I resealed it with more tape. I'll clean that up when this paint gets a little bit uh, sturdier. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, take that little residue off of it. But uh, that's not gonna leak. And uh, got her back inside the shop because I have to finish this up tomorrow. I got these two guys to finish up tomorrow. I didn't want the paper to shrink up in the... Okay, I got them painted finally. And uh, I didn't put you through all the agony of watching me do it. Um, you saw what I was doing on the other side. This is basically the same thing, just just larger areas. And uh, there's all the soldiers right there. I had my uh, had my son get me some at an auto paint store. These two cans here, and uh, it was ridiculous. It was like uh, 50, 50 something dollars. $55 and all it got me was that one panel and I went down to the auto parts store and ordered three more of these duplicolors and the half of one I had left over just barely got me enough to do this panel so uh, <laughs> I hope it all matches up um, it should you know using separate paints on each panel I should have done them all with the same one but uh, I got a little bit of shine in there I can see myself but Yep. So we are done with the paintwork on the outside as far as these big panels go. And uh, I'm going to have to move on, do the door frames and, and a few items like that, you know, clean up a little couple few areas. But um, I'll catch you on the next time, guys.